In a time long before the Big Bash, the Mercantile Mutual Cup was the domestic one-day cricket tournament. The likes of Brad Hodge, Gavin Robertson and Richard Chiqui were household names. So much so, they even had their own playing cards. To this day, I think it's still a pretty good, pretty cool photo. To be honest with you, I still get cards sent to me in the mail yeah. from, from collectors. I couldn't believe the day that I was on a card. It's pretty cool being on a card. <laughs> Iconic and picturesque venues like The Junction and North Sydney Oval would be packed to the rafters, and even a sparse MCG looked glorious. I remember just, you know, getting ready to go to North Sydney Oval. Not often you get to the ground and there's already a crowd there. The games would be broadcast live on Channel 9 with the iconic and legendary commentary team of Cipelli, Bill, Tony and Richie calling the match. I remember when Richie Benno first said my name on national TV, I was just, I oh, was like, yes, my word, Richard Chiqui, yes, marvellous. <laughs> Mercantile Mutual Cup was state versus state. For the one day and states had fancy new nicknames like the Bush Rangers, Redbacks, Warriors, Tigers, Blues and Bulls entering the vernacular. And for three magical summers, the Australian sporting public fell in love with a little team called the Canberra Comets. Yeah, I remember playing against the Comets and I, I remember scoring a century. Seeing Mervyn at Canberra Comets jersey just didn't work at all. I mean, the good thing was he didn't actually look like a Victorian because he probably stacked on a couple of kilos by the time he actually went to Canberra as well. When a guy's running in bowling 138 kilometres an hour at you with that nice chubby tummy, you know, full of a few eggs and bacon and... The big moustache come down the wig at him, it's like, what's your problem? You know, <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, Mr Hughes, you know. There was even a revolution in sporting fashion when Victoria opted to wear shorts for their tournament winning season. There wasn't a lot of suntan on the boys' legs, so when we actually got the shorts, it looked like we'd been parked on the moon for the best part of a few years. And while wearing buckets on your head at the cricket is all the rage these days, taking a crowd catch if you happen to be at the game was quite the honour. It was entertaining. Uh, the crowd were close to you. They got to feel part of the game. Uh, catches in the crowd. But if there was one thing that made the Mercantile Mutual Cup dear to everyone's heart, it was the unique innovation and the highly sought after prize, hitting the sign. And all of a sudden, more people were asking about it, especially I remember getting petrol one day and this bloke from the semi-trailer walks over to me and goes, make sure one of you blokes hit that sign, I'm gonna bet on it with one of my mates. All in all, it was good fun, you knew it was there um, and it was always at Cow Corner or Long Off which you thought was achievable. The time Steve Waugh hit the sign at the Wacker in 1995 just might have been his greatest achievement. Yeah, they've already split up, they've worked out their percentages and they're paying off housing loans and buying furniture with it already. I bought a Type 3 1972 station wagon, 1600 auto, and all of a sudden I just kept turning up to training in that beautiful car. I couldn't have afforded that before. However, hitting the sign was not without its controversies. Just ask Brad Hodge when he was denied the status in a game played in Barrel back in 2003. It hit the sign. There's no two ways about it. Anyway, cut a long story short, there was deemed that it didn't hit the sign. The problem is though, if the Mercantile Mutual signs were on the fence, yes, <laughs> it'll be a leading edge that's gonna hit it. <laughs> oh, let's be fair, with the bats these days, double if you reverse sweep it. Yeah, two million for that. Yeah. It might be interesting to entice the likes of Andre Russell and uh, Corin Pollard to the big bash again. If they knew that our chance of getting the extra 150k into their pocket, I reckon we could wrestle them out of the West Indies uh, beach for sure to try and hit that sign. While the big bash and the busy non-stop cricket schedule we see in today's game won't bring the Mercantile Mutual Cup back, we'll always have the memories and the sign. Nobody remembers how much cash you won, <laughs> but everybody remembers who hit the sign. Yeah.